Hey guys, Real Vape J here. You vented a battery already and you didn't even know it. Now, you're going, J, what the fuck? I've never vented a battery in my life. How is did you say that I vented a battery? Now, you may or may not have, I just said that to catch your attention, but there's a good chance you already have and you didn't even know you did. Now, in our world, we can't get away from it. We have batteries in everything. We carry batteries in our cell phones, in our remotes, in our portable drills. Everything we have, we are now going remote. Wireless, remote, disconnected from any kind of wire or cord into the wall. This is how our society has become. Remote, wireless, batteries, 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 batteries. Now, this is very important because you have to be safe about batteries. Every battery will vent in one form or another. It will vent either catastrophically or very mild and just leak, but that's still a form of venting. Now, you're wondering, again, I didn't vent a battery. I've never vented a battery. You wanna know where you probably vented a battery? In one of these, probably one of these. Now you, inside here, and you've, you've ever taken batteries out and you think, oh, What's all this crusty stuff in here? What is that? This all this crusty stuff. Well, that crusty stuff is dried up battery acid. So what happens is one of these little double A's or triple A's, when you put it in there, the wrapper just kind of cut a little bit. And when you put it in and it shorted out, it shorted out and then it caused it to leak, to vent. As it vents, it leaks. That's a mild way of putting it that these things when they vent, they just leak. Some of these are catastrophic. For example, like a, a lithium polymer battery, a LiPo battery. When these things vent, they are catastrophic. Even some lithium ion batteries, they do a multitude of things. Sometimes they vent and just spew out gases. Sometimes they will literally explode. So we have to be very careful with batteries. I'm gonna do a quick little breakdown. First, I'm gonna show you the other batteries that are around in this world. First, of course, is a cell phone battery inside there. Next, laptop batteries. This is an older laptop battery. And just so you know, the 18650 battery is the most common battery in this world. 18650s are used in damn near everything. Laptop batteries. See the size of it? See that? It's just lined with 18650s. That's how this works. Drill battery. They're just lined with batteries. That's what it is. You're looking for some old Sony VTC5s. If you have an old Makita drill and you, it's not working anymore, take the battery apart and look at it. There's a good chance those are Sony VTC5s. There you, there you go. Um, the construction of batteries. I've already peeled apart a AA battery. Here is an 18650 battery. Both got a button top, flat bottom. The construction is very, very similar. The outside denotes either positive or negative, and of course, there'll be the opposite. Double A battery. Here's the positive side, and note that this is all metal, all the way along, all down here, all the way till you hit the bottom, and that's your negative. The only thing separating negative and positive is this little plastic ring. You see that? You see how close this is? Positive, negative, positive, negative. If your wrapper, this little here, has a little cut in it and peels back this little plastic piece and then your contact in your remote bridges these two parts here, you have a short. This battery will short and it will vent. And that's what happens to these AA batteries. The reason they don't explode, they're very low power, 1.5 volts. They're, they don't really pack a punch, they just kind of leak. Those NICAD batteries, they can explode if you charge them up right full, etc., etc., etc. You know, it just, that's how it is. Now, 18650 battery, I've already unwrapped this one. Let's give you some rundown. Look at the negative side. All metal all metal all the way down to here until you get to the top now this is the top positive negative positive negative if you look right close 
That's positive, negative, positive, negative. There's just that small little gap of insulator there that separate the two. This is where the problems lie with the 18650 batteries and your wrappers coming off and then shorting them out and venting them. Be very careful with the top of this. If this gets pushed in, you're essentially pushing out these little tabs on this side here and that's going to contact with this and there's a good chance you will vent the battery. Be very careful not to push those things, not to push in these tops. When you're screwing it down on some sort of a mech mod or something and you just crank it in there, make sure you're not denting the top of this because if you dent the top of this, you are pushing out the bottom of it. And when you push out the bottom of it, you're making it closer to the negative side. So it increases the chance of a short, a bridge, an explosion. I tell all newbies, novices, that want to get into mech mods, and mech mods are basically just a battery holder with no safety portions on it at all. There's no safety chip in it to shut it off if there's a, if there's a short. There's nothing. It's just, a, it's just a battery holder is what it is. I tell all fresh people, all novices, all newbies, batteries... Well, let's start over here. There are two things in this world. There are two things in this world that store an incredible amount of energy and release that energy in a very, very fast amount of time. One is a battery. The second is a bomb. I do that just to denote the severity of bridging the positive and negative, and you need to see these, that there's a potential for an explosion. The right battery will explode. This will explode catastrophically. LiPo battery, positive and negative. If these two were to bridge, this pack will explode. Even this pack here, what's, what it's comprised of. You puncture a hole through it, those two chemicals and shit in there, whatever it is, mixes and you have an explosion. The safety part of these 18650s, much like what you have here in a AA battery, on the negative side, you've got that little plastic ring that separates the two. On an 18650, you have this black ring. Some is white. Let me see if I know. Here, I've got a rewrap battery here. It's got a white ring. This one's got a black ring. That separates See with the positive and negative. It protects it. If that ring is missing on any of your batteries, do not use it. If you have the ring still, but it came off, still don't use it. Bring it to a shop that can rewrap the battery for you. Have fun with the rewraps. For me, I made my own Energizer batteries out of this one, just to have fun. Uh, let me show you something else. Just, again, just having fun with these batteries. I made, yeah, see, an arc reactor. But I put that ring back in there. This one happens to have a black ring. What happens when you put a battery in that's missing the ring is this. You see that? The top contact bridged the two and created a short. Now, it's a good bloody thing this didn't stay connected together, because if it stayed connected together, this battery would have catastrophically vented, much like this. Now, this is a mild venting where just the gases leaked out and it melted the rewrap. Other things that can happen would be an explosion, especially if it's in a confined space, like, uh, for example, a, a tube mod that doesn't have enough vent holes in it to release the pressure. That pressure will build up, build up, build up, and then explode. There's, there's things you have to look for in a mechanical mod is the vent holes. Does it have enough? If it doesn't have enough, all that's going to happen if a battery vents like this, it's going to, all these gases are going to come out and it's going to pack that space and it's going to get tighter and tighter and tighter and until the point where it just can't take it anymore and it'll just come apart. Along with that, intense heat. These things will heat up extremely fast and get extremely hot to the point where it's dangerous to touch. Batteries, these tops, make sure they're always on there. Always inspect your batteries before you put them in. Look at them before you put them. Just 
doesn't take you long. It takes you two seconds. You look at it, okay, wrap looks good. Good, done, put it in. Hmm, look at it, oh, it's peeling a little bit. I should have that looked at. I'm gonna take that battery and put it aside. It's all you have to do. Be safe with your batteries, people. We carry them around everywhere, whatever we do. Even these little guys here, you know, battery acid, it's not good for you. Cell phones, you puncture a hole in the cell phone battery, it'll blow up. You overcharge them. You get a bad charger, they'll blow up. These, you know, we're around it every day. You don't even realize it. Everything we have remotely and that operates electronically has a battery in it. So be very careful. Batteries are not are not something to be taken lightly. You make sure you're safe with them because if you're not, you're going to have an accident and someone's going to get hurt.